Let's see how many of these boys I can put in my pocket. <laughs> Looks like Poggers found some nice bread. Looks like this one's kind of brown. Time to find an exterior door. No. Don't mind if I do. Hello, Batman. Let's go! <laughs> man, oh man, do I have an exciting video for you guys today. Woo! <laughs> Hello, the baby. Oh, he's turning into a convertible. <laughs> yeah, guys, I keep up with the memes. As you can see, our giant family of ducklings is doing very, very well. Vinny and her boyfriend are doing well in there. Look how cute they are. A lot more open space in this here backyard. And the ducklings are very, very happy about that. I'm going to get a pond set up for them later. But today, I'm going up to Waco. I'm dropping off the rest of the trash from this garage that we have. I also got a ton of chicks that just hatched. Look at all these little babies. Man, these guys sure were ready to get out of there. This one ran into the other room. I'm here, children. Oh! Oh, I'm really gonna need to sanitize this. Oh, this one looks like this one's kind of brown. Oh, okay. Take this last little baby out. Here we go. Come on. Okay, guys, I think that's the last batch. After that, uh, after these quail eggs hatch and after these ones hatch or don't hatch, I'm gonna go ahead and just clear all these eggs out. And then I'm gonna send you guys these in the mail. As soon as the spy cameras and the babies actually show up, and I'm really sorry it's taking so long, I'm panicking. Oh, that oh, was a little trick. Literally ran into the other room. Isn't that cute? But yeah, the, the babies and the spy cameras are actually getting here at the same time, which is nice, but also annoying. And I will not be ordering from Alibaba anymore. <laughs> Okie doke, the gang's all here. We got a nice fresh set. I would put a heat lamp in here, but according to this thing, it is 93 degrees. Man, I love living in Texas, but okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my Minecraft sheets for the trailer. I can't forget the Minecraft pillow. Goodbye, Kevin. Love you. Goodbye, all the duckling. Mr. Pogman, it's time to go to Waco. Let's go. I think you mean it, Papa? You mean it? I will sit before I come in. Yes! Yeah. Told you I know how to train a dog or two, even though he keeps destroying my things when I don't look. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> okay, this seems safe to drive. I also got this in the back here, which used to be a brooder, but now it's gonna be my bathtub. But today is an especially good day because I have had a lot of trash in the back here for a very long time. But last night, old Uncle Ben stayed up till about two in the morning, cleaning his garage and bleaching the floor. The brooder room was starting to get a little stink, but now the whole house smells fantastic. And I'm bringing all of this to just toss on the giant trash pile that we have in Waco. And now I can write this off as a business expense. We've also been staying up late and getting some work done at the house. And I think you guys are gonna be very surprised to see. <laughs> what do you think of this nice place, first <laughs> off? I think we should take this down, clean this place up a little bit, and rip these little walls out and and then maybe let poggers eat all this nice clean food in here it's called onion paper it's called onion skin paper uh-huh like onion skin wallpaper this is just what they had back in the day back in like the early 1900s probably when this house was built interesting i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this out hey check out all this nice food in here <laughs> can't let this go to waste huh poggers <laughs> looks like poggers found some nice bread okay i got the majority of it into this trash bag <laughs> this appears to to be some kind of melon. I'm glad Russell took all the food that I bought for, made good use of. Hey, what's up, little guys? <laughs> Welcome to the family. Santa Claus is coming to town. Hey, it's my little toad friend. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Wow. Hello, little friend. Hey, here's a giant spider web in the middle of the field. Don't mind if I do. I'm walking into it. Uh oh, sorry. Okay, I'm at the Walmart in Hewitt now because there's never anyone here and it's my favorite one. But what sucks is that Walmart closed closes at 11 every day and it's already 10:50. and if walmart closes at 11 that means i only have what up mtv welcome to my crib so because i'm using the bus to transport trash i haven't cleaned it yet i'm saving that for you marison <laughs> a schmutz got on here so this is gonna go ahead and be poggers bedspread and at least for tonight this is what we're working with tomorrow i'm gonna wake up real early gonna get a lot of work done on the house and we're gonna be cooking with gas oh and yeah i got water poggers is so happy here all right i'm gonna go ahead and clean my feet off with these clorox wipes and go to bed so I'm taking off the walls here, and this is all very, very raw. Look at that. Mm. Okay, I ripped this off. The bottom of the windowsill is starting to come right off. I managed to rip all the walls off without destroying this adorable little man. Looks like two little faces there. Look at that. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and tear all of this nasty wallpaper off. I was born in the crack house. Hello, Batman. Check out how nasty and janky. Oh, oh, look at all that dust. Oh, oh. 
Hmm, that's some tasty gulab. Let me have a roll inside for the cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I sure wish Tank was here to help. <laughs> sure would be nice if Tank came by and helped me out. <laughs> okay, now we just need to remove this little ceiling fan guy. Okie dokie, things are looking pretty nice and clean. This is just dust from the attic. Might just sleep in this bed tonight. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! Now this is an epic Fortnite moment. Man, Tank, I really wish you were here right now. Okay, just need to lift this down. Oh, very fun! <laughs> Come on, guys, let's go! Oh, 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 ah, ah. Hey, that's pretty cool. Uncle Ben finally grew some hair on his arms. <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, this is a dirt cheap but yeah dirt cheap is a central texas thing i think and they have just about all the kinds of crap that you can think of anytime a place like walmart gets an appliance that breaks it goes to dirt cheap it could be appliances building materials literally anything they also got these stoves all kinds of carpet and everything you see is usually 40 to 50 percent off the marked price or even more wow we could use about 40 to 50 of these it's also basically goodwill this fire pit's 400 bucks originally and it probably has a dent yeah look it's been been scratched up that's probably about half off nice bed spreads all that kind of stuff any minecraft ones <gasps> minecraft minecraft and then they got some pretty decent couches but just with like little tiny rips you see that but what we're looking for today is a door oh these are some nice towels chimkin yeah they got shovels fridge a leaf blower i got all kinds of dirt in my head concrete mixer and this thing the only thing wrong with this grill is just this dent here all right this is the hall 48 bucks for this thing okay now it's time to find an exterior door why is this the cheapest price? Hey, found this nice little rat nest in here. Okay, I've done all the demoing that we need to do for the rest of this build. Literally every piece of wood that needs to come off the walls is officially off. Those, I think, are keeping the house together, so I'm not going to move them, and I can just slide the insulation up under there. Go ahead and buy some more rock wool at Lowe's, and then just fill all these gaps in. One thing that's a bit concerning is the fact that this is completely slanted. I don't know if you can tell from the video. It's definitely leaning this way a little bit. The house is still safe to be in, I'm sure. This is all definitely going to need to be replaced. I need to replace these baseboards really bad. If anyone knows how to do this, please, in the Tri-County area, please help in the United States. But yeah, we should be able to replace this pretty soon. What's probably more urgent is replacing these studs and making sure that these are actually supporting the house because this one isn't, and neither is that one. These have been rotted. But these windows definitely had water leaking in them and then they ended up uh, rotting this whole area. So if anyone knows how to install windows, please reach out to us. <laughs> Pretty soon, this is going to go from being a nasty old crack den into a nice little beautiful wildlife rehabilitation center. And it's not going to be in this video, but the attic is actually very spacious. And just because old Uncle Ben loves you and appreciates you, he's going to go ahead and give you guys a little tour. What do you see up there? Any rat? Any owls? Anything that's going to attack my hand probably? What do you guys see? What's up there? I don't even know. I can't even see it. What's up there? What's up there? Okay, I looked at that video and I think there might be some eyes in here. So we're gonna do a slow scan around the entire room. Slowly but surely. Any eyes? Any animals? Hey, look who finally showed up. It's Tabby. <laughs> Come on in, kids. Come on, grab those fancy cell phones, whatever you call them, and, and help me find some rat nests to suck up with this shop vac. Come on, Tabby. Come on, help me find a nice little rat nest to shot, uh, to get it with this little shop. What is that, the iPhone 6? <laughs> Looks new. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Uncle Ben, he, he stays up to date with the tech. We're gonna need to get all this out. Got a nice little window up into the attic you guys wanna see. The extension cord, John, where is it? Why'd you put it so far away, John? John, you're always smoking them cigarettes, John. Okay, now that we got the shop vac plugged in and this light, it's time to vac the shop. <laughs> see, I keep up with the memes, kid. Tabby, what do you mean you're leaving? What? Tab, Tab, no, Tabby, get back. Tabby, Poggers, get her. You kids take a second and look at how satisfying this is. Get away, wow. Okay, old Uncle Ben's phone's gonna die, but I'm going through this nice, nasty little muck to get you guys the rare green tree frog. Oh, I see one right there. Oh, as a matter of fact, Uncle Ben sees a green tree frog 
right here. Look at this adorable, beautiful boy. <laughs> what should we name? Uncle Ben might just have to take this little boy home and give him a little kiss. Today we're doing a little creature feature. What you gotta do is you gotta wet your hands first. You don't wanna touch these boys with dry hands because they, they breathe through their skin, okay? Oh, he swam away. You see, green tree frogs are so hard to find because you gotta be in these nice little wetlands where there's no bass to eat. Them. I see another one. What do you guys think? We should name this one Jimmy John. Let's see how many of these boys I can put in my pocket. Just wanna come up on them, stun them with the flashlight so they're immobile, and then just grab them just like that. And that's all you gotta do, kids, to catch an adorable little green tree frog. You gotta make sure he's nice and moist. Get him a little wet. Oh, excuse me. There he goes. Gone for forever. Gee, I sure hope I don't get bit by a water moccasin. Mm, I sure hope a big old alligator doesn't come up and attack Uncle Ben when he's wading through this nasty water. <laughs> Uncle Ben's gonna try and get this one last frog for you guys because he loves you. Say thank you, Uncle Ben. Okay, final update. Yes, I did get attacked by a gator last night and my phone died. I still need to fill in this little hole. I can get that done today. Yes, I used the shop vac to clean everything in here and it's really nice and neat. And yes, I'm barefoot, Ma. Because this is a nice and shoes off house now. But now that there's not a lot of rat poop, there's a lower chance of me getting hantavirus. I shot backed everything in here and it is all really, really clean. The only things left on my agenda now are to take this plywood. I need to completely replace this base plate. As you can see, it's missing. If anyone knows how to do that, please help me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in this hole. I'm gonna fill in this hole and screw this whole thing down. I need to fill in this little hole here. I need to fill in these little holes here and here as well. 